Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rento coming at you from the Dogolith in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, we were working on the sewerage networks of Mole City. And in this episode, we're going to continue working on the sewerage networks, but we're going to be using some TNT to speed up the process. That's right, guys. This is going to be an episode full of kaplams, kaplooies, and uh, it is going to be freaking sweet. So stick around, guys. The reason I'm at the Dogolith today is because I wanted to start the episode by putting a couple of you guys on the Dogolith before we forget. And number two, I wanted to see the sweet ass view of the Granny Dog Monument from here, man. And I gotta say, it is looking awesome. Oh God. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's get to the Dogolith entries, guys. Let's get them right out the out the bat for this episode, so I don't forget them at the end of this one. But starting with YouTube subscribers, we've got Awesome Dude 8100, Melody Soriano, Spike Little Girl, and Bill Kiesler. Welcome to the Dogolith, my subscriber friends from Dogcraft.net. We've got Josh Dog, Molego, Aleph ATZ, MFK, and Ethaliano. So welcome to the Dogolith, the eight of you. Uh, you have been immortalized in the interbubs forever. And guys, remember, if you want to get your buttholes on the Dogolith, you've got to be a subscriber of the Ren Dog channel. Um, and you've got to leave a constructive comment here and there on one of my videos. I choose randomly from the comments on my videos. And remember, guys, if you ask to be put on the Dogolith, it ain't going to happen. And of course, you can also join Dogcraft.net, the official cyber dog fan community. It's free to join. And there is a thread on that forum where you can put your YouTube username to stand a chance of being put on the Dogolith. But guys, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get to the freaking meat and potatoes of this episode. And that is making some TN freaking tea, man. We are going to be using TNT to speed up the process of digging out um, the sewage tunnels. And it's going to be awesome. I don't know if it's going to work. It might work. It might fail miserably. And we might blow up the granny dog traffic circle. But, uh, you know, when playing with TNT, man, you never know what's going to happen. But the only thing that you can be 100% sure of is, is that it is going to be a good time. <laughs> so um, let's get to it, guys. And uh, while I'm just sorting out my inventory and whatnot, I just want to thank all of you guys for the incredible hints and tips you have been giving me in the previous episode, man. Seriously, some of the comments about the sewage systems have been so awesome. You guys have been suggesting amazing stuff like adding iron fences to the inside of the sewage tunnels to make them look like real sewage tunnels, to add vinage all over the show and to, to add dirt to the bottom of the sewage tunnel so it looks like um, it's a dirty ass tunnel. So man, all such good stuff and thanks to everybody for all of your incredible um, support and, and you know, every day watching these videos and helping me out making this uh, this you know series and these things that we craft as awesome as possible man i freaking love you guys diamond sword high five <laughs> but guys one of the things that i um read in the comment section of the previous video is that one of you guys said that this tunnel feels too big to you it feels too wide and too high and you know what the more that i thought about it the more that my ocd started to kick in and the more that i realized you know what i think these sewage tunnels are in fact too big so i came over here to the ocean side and um what i wanted to do was experiment with the size of the actual tunnel and here's paloma look she agrees man she agrees with you whoever it was that said the tunnels are too thick she's like hell yeah oh paloma you're so cute let me scratch your head there you go oh you are the cutest little kitty aren't you the cutest little kitty oh yeah you're the cute oh you're the cutest man i love this cat anyway guys i have resized the sewage tunnel and as you can see it looks so much better I, I put paloma here to take care of it and check it out man she is like the guardian of the entrance to mall city but i think you guys will 100 percent agree that this size of the sewage tunnel is the correct size i think that this looks so much better than the big one and uh as you can see it just it just to me that looks like how a sewage tunnel should look like now there is a problem with this um, guys and that is because th this tunnel is only two blocks wide on the bottom and the top and on the sides look it's only one two blocks wide we have thrown the entire mole city uh, road network and traffic circle circle out of sync um, 
When we built the Mall City traffic circle and the roads, we made them three blocks wide. And so to have the sewerage network two blocks wide means that the sewerage tunnels and the roads do not align correctly. Now, what the hell am I talking about? I hear some of you say, well, just take, let, let me show you, man. Sit back and let me show you. So the main artery roads of Mall City are three blocks wide. Now, if we look down to our newly designed sewerage tunnel, it is only two blocks wide, the top of it. And that means that that will run um, parallel to these two blocks over here. And that means that the sewerage tunnel is actually not 100% symmetrical with the roads. And you guys know, as well as I, that OCD will not allow this to happen. So what we're going to have to do, and I've made up my mind now that we are going to make our sewerage tunnels that thickness over there. We are going to have to increase the width of our roads by one block. So all of these roads are going to have to move one to the left. Um, and we're going to add one more slabbage um, horizontal line over here of blocks. And that's going to make our road four blocks wide. What that means is that the entire traffic circle is basically going to fatten by one block. So nothing drastic is going to change, but it is going to require a butt ton of work to get done. And uh, I'm probably going to do that work off camera because that's going to be quite a lot of work. But I, I think it's going to pay off in the end because that's going to ensure that um, our sewerage network and our roads ow, are 100% aligned. Yeah. And I hope all of that made sense, guys. But um, I think that it's time to start blasting. Um, and what we need to do is set up a line of TNT all the way down this tunnel that is going to chain with itself um, all the way out the other side. Now, TNT blows up three blocks by three blocks by three blocks. So we're actually going to blow a, a much bigger tunnel here than we need. But the actual tunnel... Uh, the actual sewage pipe is thicker than it looks. The actual sewage pipe, if we dig it out, is actually um, this wide. Because, of course, we need to place the blocks and we need to place the steps on, um, on blocks. So the actual, the actual pipe is about this wide, right? Now, if we put a piece of TNT right about, um, right about here... So if we put a, um, hmm, let's just try to work this out, right? So one, two, one, two, three, hmm. So what do we need to get rid of? We need to get rid of, okay. I mean, this is, again, the problem with it being two blocks wide is that we don't get a symmetrical path. But that is, that's okay, I think. What we're going to need to do, I think, is place the TNT, um, hmm, let's try to work this out. So we're two blocks from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. This, this is the middle column over here. These two, uh, these two lines are the middle column of our tunnel. So unfortunately, the TNT isn't going to be placed exactly perfectly. But we can get it as close to perfect as possible. It'll mean that one side of the tunnel is blown out further than the other. But that is okay. Um, so what we're going to do is place the TNT on this side of the wall, I think. So two blocks in. One, two. That's going to be our, our first piece of TNT right there. So... Two, and then two blocks further. Then two blocks further. I mean, what? I think that TNT blows up three blocks apart, right? So what I want to try and, and do is get this TNT to chain with itself. Um, one, two, three. And I think the reason that it, it wasn't working when we were doing the when we were doing this to the the Nether Portal Temple is because there were stone bricks uh, stone blocks in between the TNT blast and the blast wasn't able to connect with the other bits of TNT. So let's experiment a bit. Let's put TNT three blocks apart from each other and uh, see if that chains. Because if that chains, then we get to save a whole bunch of TNT. Because if we have to put the TNT two blocks apart from each other then um you know we, we're spending a, a, a way more tnt than we need than you know than we have really i mean this is all that we've used all the gunpowder that we have to do this so let's see if this is actually going to work right one two three okay so let's do an experiment right we've got two two things of, of tnt paloma step back step back things are about to get crazy up in here man oh god we don't have any, we don't have any flint and steel <laughs> Paloma's like, Paloma literally just face palmed. I saw her face palm. She was like, oh, you, you idiots. You didn't bring any flint and steel on a TNT mission. You are an, a noob of epic proportions. I know, Paloma. Don't judge me. I know you're a cat and cats judge everyone. But don't judge me. I'm the owner. I'm the owner. 
Oh, I thought we had some uh, flint and steel in here, but no matter, we can just make a new flint and steel. Hmm. I hear something behind me, and it sounds like a skeleton! Oh, you bastard! Back up! Whew, he snuck up on me, and it looks like he put an... <laughs> I'm basically a pinata, man. I took an arrow to both shoulders, it looks like. Let's have a look. Oh my god, I took an arrow to bo both shoulders and an arrow to the butt. Check it out, man. That dude, that dude shot me in the butthole. Oh, skeletons. I tell you what, man. Bastards of the <laughs> of the Minecraft world. Not as bad as creepers, but, but pretty bad. Um, Alright, let's get back into the safety of the sewerage networks. <laughs> um, I, I can't believe I actually said that. But seriously, the sewerage networks are probably the safest place for us right now. So I got our flint and steel, guys. Let's see if our TNT experiment is going to work. Um, now, what I'm actually just realized is that maybe this TNT needs to go one block higher. No, it doesn't actually, because we do need to remove this layer of stone here so that we can make the floor of the, um, the sewer. Okay, so let's do this, guys. Let's try this. Paloma, step back. Do not come any closer. You stay there. You stay there. Okay, let's do this, guys. Flint and steel. Kaplam! Bam! <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so that is actually chaining perfectly three blocks apart. And um, this... Oh, man, this is going to make our lives so much easier. Um, it kind of makes it a mess, but we'll clean it up, you know. And, and uh, after that, it'll, you know, it'll work. It's going to... I mean, look how many blocks this got rid of that we're not going to have to waste Terra on, for example. Okay, so let's do this again, right? So, one, two, three, TNT. One, two, three, TNT. And rinse and repeat. Three, TNT. One, two, three, TNT. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a huge ass explosion, man. <laughs> this is going to be so awesome. Alright, there we go. Alright, we are ready to set this... <laughs> this puppy ablaze, man. I hope Paloma hasn't moved closer because uh, things are about to get crazy up in here. All right, guys, let's do this. Three, two, one. Kaplam! Bam! 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 <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was absolutely epic. Oh my goodness, that was insane. Absolutely perfect. That was so sweet. Check Paloma's just like, dude, that was really dangerous. Where was the health and safety inspector for that one? <laughs> but that is absolutely perfect. Look at that, guys. Oh man, that is that is what I would call a win. Um, all we got to do now is clean this up and then we can actually um, complete the tunnel of, of this archery. Of course, um, We'll need to do the same for the arteries that run this direction. But um, I don't think we're going to have enough TNT to actually do that. Um, we might have to go on a bit of a, a creeper grinding mission. But check it, this guys. This is, oh, this is so awesome, man. This is exactly what it must feel like if you work in construction and you get to blow stuff up, man. It must just be such a satisfying feeling. Like after you've blown everything up. I mean, the unfortunate thing is that we don't actually collect the blocks that the TNT takes out. Um, that is a little bit unfortunate. Especially because it's all cobblestone and, I mean, we clearly need a ridiculous amount of cobblestone for this uh, Mole City project. But, you know, we have a ton of cobblestone in the Mole Hole and in the, the Strip Mine Outpost, so I don't think we're going to be running out of cobblestone anytime soon. Um, but, uh, you know, that was so awesome! Oh, there's a freaking skeleton! Even though I torched this place up, the skeleton still decided to show his ugly ass face. Skeleton, you are going to meet your demise at the end of an arrow. Take it to the bits! That is what I'm talking about. Alright, sweet. Okay, guys, so I'll tell you what, man. I'm going to continue to lay down the foundations of the sewage pipe. And um, I'm going to kick this bad boy into fast-forward mode. And I will see you on the other side of this kaplam when we have uh, a little bit more of a, <laughs> of a sewerage network to look at. So, uh, one, two, three, guys. Kaplam!
Alright, Cyberdogs, I am back and damn, was that some crazy ass excavation going on over there, guys. But I hope you enjoyed that fast forward of digging out the sewerage tunnel. I'm absolutely loving the shape now. I think it is the perfect width, the perfect height. Paloma 100% agrees and I basically added the floor, the roof and the walls and all I got to do now is add um, the steps to the entire tunnel, both um, the steps running along the bottom and the steps running along the top but we do not have time to finish that in this episode I'm afraid guys so I'm going to leave you here but in the next episode we are going to carry on working on this main artery sewerage line and uh, hopefully we're going to have it finished and uh, then we're going to be able to really have a look at what it's going to be what it's going to look like and of course we still need to add a, a level of water all running all the way above it so that we can get that dripping water effect going on uh, but guys I hope you have enjoyed this episode and if you have you know what to do man you smack that freaking like button and if you are new from somewhere on the interbub or you have just um, found the Red Dog, Ren Dog channel and watched a few videos, why don't you hit that subscribe button, man? we got tons more Let's Play Minecraft videos coming as well as Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast and a whole bunch of other sweet-ass games still to come this year, guys. Um, it, it, it's just going to be sweet. It's going to be a freaking awesome 2013, man. Um, but guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm going to sign off. This has been Ren Dog playing Minecraft Survival on this very rainy morning. And uh, I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. Goodbye, my sub-addiggity-dog friends!